Hey guys, it's Mian, and this is Beauty With Me. Welcome to another edition of Mian Tries One Brand for the whole week and tells you all about it. And Other Stories is a fashion brand actually owned by H&M that has beautiful clothing, but they actually have a very big beauty collection that I have always known about but never tried. So I decided to get a bunch of stuff, an entire full face of makeup and even some hair care stuff and try it this week and we will get into it. Before we do though, please make sure you are subscribed down below and while you're at it, please add me on Instagram, at meann.chan. First things first is foundation. So this is the And Other Stories Cream Foundation that I've been wearing this week. I wear the shade Trey Shades. I wear the shade, I, I wear the shade Trey Sand and I gotta say I was pretty surprised by this formula. I was expecting something called a cream foundation to be quite thick on the thicker side. The bottle itself kind of looks like Estee Lauder double wear. So in my mind, I was expecting fuller coverage. This is very, very sheer and very, very dewy. I definitely needed to powder over it, especially in the T-zone. But if you're into this like very glossy skin kind of finish, it's quite nice. Next up is my favorite product of the entire week, the And Other Stories powder blushes. They are so, so pretty. Not only do they come in like the most beautiful, like punchy colors, but they are so pigmented on. You just need like the smallest little touch and it like will cover your whole cheek, give you a really fresh, healthy glow. This orangey tangerine shade I actually wore all over the lid as an eyeshadow. This pink is also gorgeous as an eyeshadow too. Highly recommend. Next up is highlighter. And Other Stories has this luminizing powder that I use as my highlighter. It is a nice kind of champagne. This is the only shade I believe, and it is very, very natural. I would say it kind of has like a candle lit kind of glow. Definitely doesn't have a lot of intense sparkle. You can see it for sure when you put it on your cheekbone, but it's not gonna give you like a megawatt shine. I can pile it on really, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna be too blinding. So I think it's a very good everyday one. Moving on to eyeshadow. So, and other stories, a few eyeshadows. This is the only quad that I got. This is the Tartan Club Eye Color Palette. These shadows feel very similar to the blushes. The powders are on the slick side, like when you touch it, you can definitely feel some kind of silicone in this formula that gives it a lot of slip. Um, because of that though, they do, they can catch on the lid. So if you're wearing just eyelid primer on your lid and it's kind of on the wet side, I would suggest slapping a little bit of powder on your lid before applying these. Then they blend beautifully. They are gorgeous shades. This shade in particular, this mid-tone brown, is a great blending shade. I love this shade to deepen up the crease under the eye like I'm wearing today. A nice neutral palette, I think, for $15, this is definitely on the pricey side for a quad. I mean, you can go to the drugstore and get an excellent trio or quad from Wet n Wild um, or CoverGirl. So totally up to you. So next up on the eye front is this eye marker. This is called the Bombazine Black Eye Marker and it is really nice. <laughs> Open it up, really classic felt tip, but it is very small and very precise. It makes it really easy to draw on wings. It's very black, it is long wearing. I'm wearing it today. Really easy to use. Highly recommend this one actually. It's a very good eyeliner. So last thing on the makeup front is lipstick. So this is the And Other Stories like classic lipstick. It is very moisturizing, pretty pigmented. I think it's a really classic lipstick. Satin finish, good pigment, easy to wear, very comfortable. So on to hair, and this was actually the category that I was the most excited about because And Other Stories recently launched a hair care range in the past year or so. This is the Restore Shampoo. This shampoo is color safe. It doesn't have sulfates. It is a very, thin shampoo, if that makes sense. It comes out and I was actually surprised by how liquidy it was. It smells really good. Like... I mean, all of And Other Story stuff smells amazing because they do really good scents. Really nice texture. I actually just washed my hair yesterday and my hair air dried and I like the way that it feels. It didn't lather a lot in the shower, which I took as a good sign because it is sulfate free, so it's not gonna have all that foaming that a sulfate um, shampoo would, so. I like this one. So next up is this Restore Treatment, which I used as a hair conditioner. It has coconut hibiscus extract in it, vegetable keratin, 
left it in for like three minutes in the shower. Again, it smells really good. The next hair product is this Fullness Thickening Cream, which is supposed to give thickness, body, heat protection. I never heat style my hair, but it does give you heat protection if you need it. So I would use this in conjunction with the shampoo and conditioner after getting out of the shower. My hair was kind of wet, but towel dried. I would put a dollop of this through my mid lengths and end and then scrunch before air drying. It kind of gave my hair a little bit of frizz control. The first day after I've washed my hair, my hair tends to get very fluffy and frizzy. This is the day after I wash my hair and it's actually much more controlled. Normally it's like bigger and fuzzier. I think this definitely helped contain that. Last but not least, body care. After the shower, I put on this Eletaria body milk, which is so cute. It comes in a little like milk carton style packaging. It also smells really good. Let's try it. Like, the, like, like a warm milk that your mom may put a little bit of honey in, like a little vanilla, a little cinnamon, and then you drink it before bed. You're a nice mom. She never did that. <laughs> but it's what I imagine might happen. It's a nice body lotion. It's very lightweight, soaks in really fast. It's not the kind of body lotion that you need to like wait around naked in like before you put on clothing. Um, I do that anyway though. That is it guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there are any like full brands that I haven't tried yet that you would like me to try. So, see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. Click here to subscribe to Refinery29 and click here to watch another video. Bye.